Now this is a hundred year old house. So you're going to get a lot of the radiator, a lot of the boiler, um, heat, air, hundred year old windows. I'm having so much fun with those. Back in the day, this was a craftsman built house, plaster walls, wood lath, which is a nightmare because they always crack out. So you're always constantly repairing those. So it's, you know, it's always upkeep, upkeep, upkeep. So you've, you've seen 13 years, like people coming in and out and moving Well, probably four, four families. But, I, but it is strange because people have really done some damage to like those buffets and the built-ins. You can see that there were built-in bookcases and then somebody, for some unknown reason, <laughs> pulled them out. We lived in three houses. Our first house was 550 Simpson. Then we lived at, oh no, not Simpson, 550 Hamlin. And then, then, gosh, I don't remember our address for the Simpson Street, but we were between Edmund and Charles, right across from the blue townhouses. Um, and now we live on, uh, now we live on Englewood uh, near Newell Park. Oh, okay. And we can't go, in, there's no other side to go on unless we want to live on the railroad track. So this is, yeah, this is my favorite room because it's kind of small and it's kind of cozy. It has our favorite chairs and most comfortable chairs in the house here. Uh, and then um, I'm able to put up all my anthropology stuff that I collect um, and James and I collect on our vacations uh, as well. So then this is the dining room because most of the houses in Midway, I think, have separate dining rooms. So we collect plates from the places we've been. So that's from Peru, and this is from Scotland. That's just look, look, that just looks like our, one of our cats, mm -hmm. one of our first cats. <laughs> Where are the Walter. <clears throat> These ones are from um, the Yucatan, and that's, and we got those. One of those we got from, I got when I went on a January trip with Skip Messenger and students from Hamlin, and then my husband and I went, and we got that one. My niece got married in Jamaica two years ago. So that one's from there. And then um, relatives, <laughs> of course. And then this is, was from the year that, this doesn't relate to our house, but it was, this plate represents the year our house was built, which I can't even remember. Oh, 1912. And uh, so James's friend, he found it in an antique shop, shop, so he got it for him. Here's a kitchen. Pretty small, like, like we were talking about. Um, before at Groundswell is that it's a pretty small kitchen overall uh, but suits our needs pretty well. We don't really have, you know, we're not master chefs or anything along those lines. We also um. had uh, somebody do a video on teapots. Did they? Yeah. yeah. I love teapots. She was talking about the problem with how teapots always have one last drip. Oh. And she's in the search, on a search for the best teapot. Oh, so that it doesn't have a drip at the end? Mm -hmm. I know, they do always drip. Yeah. So, yep, they're kind of fun. Kind of go around in a circle because okay. there's a little tiny stairway here. <clears throat> and this is the bunny's room now that Eric has moved out. So now Apollo has his own room. Don't you? He says, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, this is just a little cabinet. Like, we put our towels and things like that in there. And the basket that a friend of mine, she, they were selling off some of these baskets made by the Yanomamo that had been collected by a cultural anthropologist. And so um, she gave me one for my birthday because oh, it's neat. probably my favorite um, ethnography. So and then this is the attic. So Pumpkin Boy is one of our Halloween decorations. And then when, after Halloween, we put him here. And then he looks out the window. <laughs> so, but the little girls next door were kind of um, was, were scared by pumpkin. And we Boy. bought the house. The basement was fully finished like this, okay. and and it was one of the my, main reasons we bought the house because it's like a suburban basement in an old house. So we like really older is. homes with all the woodwork and the buffet and things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, we did want to have a finished basement.
We've lived here since 1990, summer of 1994, so we're coming up on 20 years in this house. The house was built in 1915, and four families, including uh, my husband and I, have lived here. We did a major change in the kitchen when we expanded the kitchen, um, which is another thing about like what it used to be like. <laughs> um, the kitchen was so tiny and you couldn't, two people couldn't work in the kitchen. Um, and originally this house and a lot of other houses in the neighborhood had a wood stove in the basement. So some of the cooking was done in the basement. So we squared the kitchen off. Um, it used to be that the sink was here and there was a wall here with a window and overhead cabinets that were hung so low you couldn't stand a wine bottle up on the couch. All remodeled so we could put in a shower. The bathtub used to be where this cabinet is and we moved it over here and the reason we have this giant cabinet is because we lost a closet and um, a cabinet by we had to take those out to put the bathtub in where one could stand up. Laundry and plants I'm wintering over and my treadmill. Um, there's a bathroom down here. Um, and as you can see, just overflow and like probably sometime when it gets a little bit warmer outside, so it'll be a little warmer inside. We'll clean it up and it'll look pretty decent, and then it'll gradually get worse and worse and worse until next spring when we do it again. Have I knocked on your door? Have we met? Have we ever I, don't, I don't think so. You might have knocked on the door and my husband. No. I don't know. I've knocked on every single door in the Hamlet Midway neighborhood <laughs> twice a year for the past 11 or 12 years. Wow, and just introduced myself in these older neighborhoods, yep. uh, both Minneapolis or St. Paul, one of the things that they find to be the most attractive are is the old world charm. They like the pretty, they like the, it's the different, building. they like the built-ins, they like the old light fixtures, they like the um, hardwood floors, they love the buffets. Um, those are the, the biggest sells. So in some of these houses, you probably know over the years, people have removed some of that charm. Yes. Yeah. Um, and gutted the houses and, yeah. and changed them around. Yep. Um, uh -huh. And so that can be a challenge if you have a house in one of these neighborhoods that doesn't have that old world charm. So I'm Gina, and I um, I'm a realtor. I have my own company called River Dog Realty, um, but this is my own home as well. And we just bought this house last fall. One of the really important things to me was a porch. And we are on the porch. It still has the original wood ceiling. Sometimes in these old homes, um, they've taken those out or they've painted them. The thing I would really like about this house is kind of the open floor plan. Sometimes in older houses, the rooms might be smaller, but this one feels very spacious. And we have a big family and we like to spend a lot of time together. So this really felt like a place where we could spread out and just be. One other thing that's kind of neat, and I don't know if you can get it on the, on the film, but the windows have a lot of the original glass and you can see it's a little wavy looking. It's just a little bit, and it's sort of a classic old house glass. A window washer told me that the reason that it's like that is because they just hadn't perfected the technique of making very, very clear glass. We have a headboard that Garrett made out of old doors. the same era of this house, so we really love that too. That's kind of a special, special touch for our bedroom. I work with buyers and sellers all the time and a lot of the buyers if they're trying to decide between two houses or they're they're just they love a house but they something doesn't feel right i always say you know you, if it doesn't feel right don't do it mm -hmm. they, you're you know you kind of know where home is i think i'm super excited to show you what we've done we have a few finishing touches left but i'm really excited about how we brought the house back the exterior we didn't do a lot to um up and we touch up paint at the bottom. One of our um, team members suggested that and I thought it really grounded the house well to make it dar a darker color down there. So 
the, the exterior is pretty much the same, but come on in. Basic vanity, mirror, and then we'll probably have a two light sconce. You know, just so roughly there, I guess. Um, I know there has to be a, a ground fault, a GFI, somewhere. And then the bathroom, once again, in keeping with the the style and the period, we wanted to keep the clock foot tub because it's super cool. The ceiling was a mess and we got that all fixed up and painted. Uh, and the floors got refinished up here too and they are beautiful. They're birch. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah. It looks to me like it's going a lot better than this stuff is. Yeah, kind of push it. Yeah, I see what you And then it slides up. And then drag it back down. And then you finish. Okay. And then cool. I just, I'm really happy because this was one of those houses where it's, it was getting to the point where it was either going to get a lot worse and um, it might have been harder to reverse the damage, um, but we kind of caught it in time and we were able to fix it up. And I think it's going to be a great home for someone. So we're really excited.